Welcome back to part two of Forming the Portuguese Empire. Uh, as you can see, oh, wait, what? Oh, the Nile Empire! Oh, I didn't even see him going in. I didn't see it going in at all. But as you can see, I didn't realize, but the Nile Empire apparently did a successful incursion on American lands. And everything broke off. Which is what I plan to do, which is what I planned to do when the United States attacked me before they troop spammed literally the entire region so that I couldn't hit Washington in. But, you know, all of the United States is collapsing now, and I hate to say that they deserve it, but they do. Anyways, America's collapsing. Great, I, great, great, yeah, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> I failed, I failed to speaketh there, so. Great, great, greaty, great. Poland is on the map, guys, you just don't see him. Oh, no, it's like that one game I had when Switzerland was somehow still having their capital in Emden. Wait a second, Poland's still on the map, you just don't see them. It in Norway. Oh, it is in Norway. Polish. Chuntheim. Wait, not only that, there's more. They own Norgesveld it. Ooh, Hungary. Hungary and Norway, dudes. Anyway, somehow I managed to... I don't know if it was Russia who gave me random land, or UK who gave me random land, but for some reason I own Warsaw. Also, like, a couple other Polish city cities. Um, so... I got that going for me in between. Uh, I tried to, I was gonna go attack Mozambique, but in between rounds... For in between videos, for some reason, they became a, a player for no reason. I don't understand why, but they did. They're in an alliance with South Africa, who happens to also be a player who's doing nothing. And wait a second, is it just me? Or do those avatars look incredibly similar? Right here, guys. Right, right where I'm clicking. Right, right here under the view past leaders. That almost seems like they're alt accounts of each other, which it breaks the rules. Um, there's no proof, though, that they are alt accounts, so I guess I gotta let that slide. Oh, well. Madagascar's lost its capital to Mozambique. Wait, didn't it already lose its capital to Mozambique? I swear it already did. Yo, we had to take out uh, Sri Lanka and Home Guard. Anyways... I need to own the Maldives, Maldives, and Sri Lanka, plus Timor Lest and Macao. And then all I need is Mozambique. Uh. Yep, Mozambique. And the Empire of Brazil. Which is some, for some reason, still a player, even though they're not doing anything. They've been driven to a point of occupation in their Asian lands, so I don't know how that happened. I should probably get some sort of... should probably got gotten some, gotten some sort of base near Mozambique so I can, like, charge up. But considering, like, this guy, this troop count is low, and uh, the although the ranking's pretty high, it's not enough to take, like, out a home guard in a swoop, so I'll just have to wait till these guys get done with Sri Lanka. Okay, guys, so we're back. Uruguay has declared independence from the Empire of Brazil, which is really cool. It's time to do uh, to the Empire of Brazil what the Empire of Brazil did to us which is uh, kind of steal um, Uruguay right out from under us. You see, that's, 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 not so, that's not so nice, is it? 
are going to do the exact th same thing that they did right back. And if Argentina tries anything, then that's not going to end so well. My gosh, it's ser you serious. Argentina, Brazil, and Peru, all in one, really. Oh, look, and the Empire of Brazil has become independent, has become an AI. Guys, break ties with... It's AI. How's that? Wow! The Nile Empire's takeover of the USA is going incredibly well for them. Uh, UK has severed ties with the Empire of Brazil. That's the one I really wanted to break ties with, because if I get... Because Germany's already done, pretty much, and then... USA is pretty done as well, so... Those were fighters, and they crossed the entire Sahara, says the king. Whoa, epic. That is incredibly epic for fighters to cross the entire Sahara. I swear... Oh, I thought Mozambique jumped out. That would have been nice. But no, I don't get any rest around here in these parts. No, Mo no Mozambique for me. I'm gonna get a destroyer so I can start attacking the Maldives, Dives. I'm not sure how you say it really. Yeah, I say Maldives too. I think it might actually be Maldives, but. Mm. I don't know how I still have not gotten an oil shortage. Probably because, like, China spawns with, like, the most oil in the whole game, except for Saudi Arabia. See? That's all the oil they make, especially in, like, the Mongolian territories. If you form king, like, the Mongolian territories will be, uh, good to you with oil. The only enemy I really still have left is Arabia. Correct, China, because they're the only ones that uh, still stand in your way of oil conquest. Uh, once the Saudi annexation war is done, I'm going to need Mikao. When When's that ship going out? Was it this? There we go. Yep, it should be actually pretty good pretty soon. Uh, yep, just send these troops towards Ratnapura and we'll attack them like that there you go no don't face palm in front of them <laughs> don't do arm diamond but don't do face palm in front of him either oh dear Playing BTS in the background. Oops! Hopefully, I don't get flack. <laughs> kill my most trained troops. Well, yeah, they might kill your most trained troops, King, but that doesn't mean that they're instantly, you know, the worst. I mean, the <laughs> all they were doing was just chilling entrenched. When you're entrenched, entrenchment is overpowered. I didn't even realize what it meant when people said entrenchment over it was overpowered, but now I do, and entrenchment is so overpowered. Uh, it's, it's not really that much to explain what entrenchment is. Entrenchment is when, like, your troop is situated in an area for so long that they become entrenched there, and then they have, like, this great big damage modifier on other troops that are walking towards them instead of being entrenched. It's it's a lot better of a damage thing, and it is it is OP. Yes. Once this reaches just 16k, I should be able to take them. Oh, cool! They're in the 15k's now, I think. Time to invade my island, says the United Kingdom. Okay, which one? You have like 
20 million in the British Empire. I'm wondering if it's the Isle of Man. Probably the Isle of Man. Everyone, everyone say rip to the Isle of Man. I'm probably gonna get taken out by the United Kingdom. Or something. <laughs> hey, Palestine's independent in this. Jerusalem, Palestine, 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 Jordan, the United, the the Middle East was pretty uh pretty chill until the uh, until the Nile arrived. Does Palestine have foreign bulls? Probably Arab League and Islam. Cali. Who wants my land, says King? Oh my gosh, I said I on on accident, but I guess I guess that might at least need Mikeo. I accidentally said I, but like I was like the first one to say I to needing to one in King's Land. Uh oh, cool. mikeo has been captured. Wonder if he's gonna see me anything else. Probably just Mikeo. <laughs> yeah, I don't really need anything else anyways. Sir Vijay is being taken over. UK takes Hong Kong, yes they do. Uh nothing else towards me. Don't Brazil says Argentina. Nobody, nobody's trying for for Uruguay yet, which is good because I need to bounce right down there, right now because I think they're building up on the borders again, and we need to steal them out. Guam declares independence from the United States. Ooh, they're still falling apart even after all this time. Hey Nile Empire, can I have Valletta or Malta? Superpower number three. King has sent four billion dollars to us. Thank you, King. Nicest, nicest China in the, in the whole time. Nicest China I've ever seen, guys. I'm telling you. Resource output, by the way, guys, should get us out of the deficit. Boom, got us out of the deficit. Uh, you know what else would get us out of the deficit? Probably disbanding this destroyer. But its lifetime isn't done yet, so we need to use it to invade uh, Timor Leste yet. So, um. Oh wow, I have Hong Kong. Yes, that's. I believe that's what they were talking about. I believe that's what the king taught. Where was. Where was this. Where was it? The sayeth thing. Do. <laughs> I think. You know what? I should see. I should see uh, at least Warsaw back to to uh, Poland. I mean, I don't know how I came in possession of their capital, but I think I should do that at least. Considering I don't need it, let's let's see that back to Poland. There you go, Poland. Oh, you know what? Let's let's see this one too, so that the borders look right. Oh, somehow I also came in into possession of Col Kaliningrad. Uh, you know what? Also, this for the uh, borders to look right. There you go. Don't know how I came in possession of Kaliningrad, but I'm not complaining. I mean, Portugal, Prussia is is fine with me. That was nice to pull in, though, I think. Sending back some of the mainland. And I don't know how I got it, but I just decided to keep, like, this little section here. It looks nice. Other than that, at least I got them the capital back. That should increase their stability a bunch. Hey, Bangladeshi Alliance. And I gotta send more troops over to Timor Lust. Just send them all over down. Probably gotta declare war. Um, but 
Portugal has declared war on Timor Leste. I wonder. Yeah, no, it's just Portuguese Timor Leste. So yeah, so let's send these guys down. Yep, destroyers already doing work. Have these guys arrived yet? They have arrived. Argentine Chilean annexation wars ended. Great job. I need to re-enter uh, South America by invading Uruguay for the second time. Hopefully they don't. De hopefully they don't declare independence. Let you know again. So just send these guys down here. And Timor Leste will fall. And then what else do I need? Mozambique, Timor Leste, Uruguay, Empire of Brazil. Okay, Empire of Brazil, Uruguay. Yeah, there's not going to be much after this. It's just Brazil. Brazil and Mozambique. Mozambique's a player, Brazil's a player. So basically, very, very annoying, but it should be easy. Easy enough to do, just annoying to uh, take. Especially with them both being a player. Oh my gosh, are these troops going to get taken out? How? How do those troops get taken out? I mean, um... Seems strange to me. Emperor Priscilla is offering a military alliance. Yes, but only because they're players. As soon as they leave, I'm breaking that truce straight away. Oh, uh, I see why. They're going to go attack Patagonia and they want my help. Mm, no, I think I'll... Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay neutral in that, actually. Hmm. Where, okay, these troops are definitely on the way. Uh, so just send them all the way like that. Collapse of Uruguay, by the way, that's nice. We will have... To my last within... With, with very soon. Then all I need is Mozambique and Brazil, and then we're done. But, unfortunately, I seem to kind of... Uh, Brazil's not a player. Brazil's AI. Brazil's AI. Break ties immediately. Break ties. Done. Done. Out. Gone. Aye, aye. In order... To form, I'm going to need to take out Mozambique, which shouldn't be a player, because it wasn't in for a while. Uh, I don't want to declare war on a player, but I also kind of need him to form, and I'm going to need to go soon. So... Yep, so this, these infantry will soon arrive at the borders of Timor Leste. They'll take that. And yeah, then all we need to do is plot out a plan of attack for Brazil. Brazil, Brazil is going to be slightly more annoying to take than India. And India is really gosh darn hard to take. So that's saying something. It's going to be easier to take because a lot of the cities aren't major. Because in India, you see like all of them are like almost millions. These ones are smaller, but they're spread out over a lot of jungle land. So, very, very simply put, incredibly annoying. Um, t to take. But we'll do it, we'll do it. Um, we have to do it. We will continue on to do it.
My manpower increase is horrible right now, somehow. Oh, wow, you can come out this side without, like, getting immediately attacked? That's, uh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. Boom. All done in one second, and there's two more left. Okay, so with that... With that, that would be inter- Wow, that's a lot of oil. Um... With that, I think we really, really need to work out a plot here with Brazil. Because we'll take them. Actually, we need to work out a plot with Mozambique first. How am I going to get Mozambique to leave or give up their land? I've made it this far. I don't want to give up now. I wonder if I should just... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that's, that's some troops there. Hmm. <sighs> Just, just get them. Let's just get, let's just get uh, troops in position then. There's there, and then across the sea, we will have more troops in Africa ready to go over to board. So let's do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And, jeez. I'm actually really looking forward to getting into the bed here and just... Mmm. Falling asleep. Or just resting, because... Zimbabwe has collapsed. I'm not... I'm genuinely not thinking that Mozambique's going to leave anytime soon. And I'm also wondering how hard it's going to be for me to take Brazil, even as an AI, and I could lure them into epic traps in order to take out their troops. Just taking over Brazil itself, I think, is going to be a pretty big pain, which is going to be annoying. So, I don't want to call it quits, but I think I'm going to have to, for the sake of me having to you know, rest. Hopefully, hopefully, if this server, and the server looks like it's getting a respawn right now, it's getting more intense again, so hopefully if Portugal is still alive, and the server is still alive, tomorrow I'll join back in, and I'll form this darn thing again, um, but for now, I gotta call it quits, because I'm so tired. Thank you for watching. This has been a Diamond Kitty Game video, and I'll see you all. Uh, let me open up OBS Studio. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.